Welcome to the fourth and final video for the Great Guitar Build-Off 2021 project. Uh, my uh, T-Style guitar with the Myrtle Burl top. Um, in this video we're going to complete the finishing process, which we are doing here. Uh, four coats of True Oil on the top, four coats on the back and sides of the body, and four coats on the neck. While the uh, finishing coats were drying in between coats, I decided that it was probably a good idea to get some of the electronics done, uh, since a lot of it could be done outside the body since I'm using the control panel. So here I'm wiring up the uh, volume and tone controls to the Oak Grigsby switch. I was able to actually get everything wired on the control panel except for the pickups. I even was able to wire the uh, control jack. That's pretty close to being done. Putting the capacitor in uh, for the uh, tone control. It's an orange drop, uh, 47 microfarad uh, capacitor. Pretty standard. And then I installed the uh, bri bridge pickup into the bridge assembly. Get that pre pre-installed. Here I am installing the uh, neck pickup into the uh, clear pick guard. Uh, I originally purchased a black pick guard but the wood was so beautiful I, I really didn't want to cover it up and uh, thanks to suggestions from my wife and from Tom Easley uh, I decided to go with a uh, clear pick guard and I'm glad I did. The uh, the result was much better than covering up that beautiful barrel. Finishing is done. I'm installing the uh, string ferrules for the back of the guitar. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm just placing them in the hole, giving them a tap with a hammer. Uh, and then I used a wooden block to drive them the rest of the way. Didn't want to take a chance on uh, putting a nice dent with the, uh, with the hammer. Then I installed the uh, bridge and I had to take the uh, the bridge sections out in order to get the bridge screws in, make sure they went in straight. Uh, and then I did have to reinstall them but I used a piece of craft paper on the uh, top so that the screwdriver wouldn't uh, mar the finish. hate when that happens and I made sure I used a long enough screwdriver. Then I uh, laid the uh, pick guard in place, put the control pan plate on, and now I could line up uh, for the screw holes. And as long as that's in place and I'm not going to mess up the neck, I pre-drill the holes. And because the body is semi-hollow, uh, the holes did go all the way through, but the top is a quarter inch thick, which is plenty to hold uh, the screws for the pick guard and for the control plate. Now it's time to solder the pickups into place. Ran all the wires out through the control plate cavity and just wiring them into the circuit now. And I, I did mess this up at first. I reversed the bridge and neck pickup and had to go back at one point and uh, re-solder it. But that's how we learn. And uh, definitely not a problem there. It's playing great now, as you'll see later on in the video. Also have to install the strap buttons. I use Grover uh, strap locks. Always like to use strap locks ever since I almost dropped a guitar on stage. For tuners, I use Grover locking mini rotomatics. They uh, pop through and there's a washer and then a bushing. Um, just tighten down those bushings. There's also a screw in the back. Uh, once they, you get them all installed, uh, you line them up and then mark for the screws. But what I'm using is I'm using a, to tighten them down, I use a socket. I don't use the socket wrench. I don't want to over tighten those bushings. But that uh, 
gives me a good way to do it without marring the finish. Then all I had to do was uh, file down the nut slot to its final depth and uh, fit the nut. And then attach the neck to the body. So the guitar is finished. Just a review of what it is. It's an African mahogany body with a maple cap. Attached to that is a myrtle burl veneer. The neck is Honduran mahogany with maple stripes. Zuricote fingerboard with abalone dots. Grover locking tuners. Lindy Fralin blue special pickups. I've got a four-way Oak Grigsby switch, which gives us the bridge pickup in position one, bridge and neck in position two, neck in position three, and then bridge and neck in series in position four. So let's give it a quick listen. I'm playing through a, a 5E3 Deluxe clone that I built a couple years ago. I'm in the normal channel. I get a little bit of reverb and some compression See how it... Thank you for watching. Uh, just leaving you with some photos of the finished product. Uh, very happy with this. Uh, it was a lot of fun participating, and uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, these videos. And uh, check out some of my other videos on my channel. Click like and subscribe.